good morning my friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video review from paint some way this product arrived to me in two packages different days so i was holding up till i get the rest of the uh, product so we can do a video all together and if you have this kind of problem then maybe you've received some product but not all of them uh, most likely you will receive second package I don't know if they always email or not but even now I have some suppliers tell me that product will be shipped in two packages because uh, with the holidays of Chinese New Year then was a spring festival and the COVID that was before uh, lots of factory was closed and um, all work was kind of messed up a little bit and they now just kind of getting into this production of the product so they still have uh, some product need to be um, produced some already ready so i said that i don't mind to wait and here it is today the other package arrived and now we can do our review and i would love to start from tools because there is something new that i did not see uh, when I ordered this package, um, I did not see the product in different stores. So that would be interesting for me to review for you. Uh, and we will start with the tools. I will start with this tools, okay? Because this is, was like, um, no, actually it was like for a while already on the website. Uh, but I was avoiding to review and then I thought, I got like curiosity like is the same thing as those white ones straightener because this is kind of tools that uh was in a diamond painting section tools for diamond painting to like uh, to do like a straightener but to me this kind of tools um and i have oh this is maybe a little bit more flexible because this kind of size i have this kind of tools that i uh purchase in my local store like Home Depot or like um, what was the other store uh, Canadian Tire you can buy this kind of tools for like a plaster and walls for repairs on the walls and they usually um, a yellow color and I have exactly the same size so I thought okay you know what this is uh, how many in here we have four oh no five different sizes and I want to see if they are good to to um, to do the straightener straightening diamonds after finishing uh, diamond paint canvas, but also this is like oh, its size and here says what is it two in here I see number two up there you can see it flashing. Um, okay, so now that's exactly the same kind of that I have. Uh, in my household kind of like a slightly cut on um, you see like how we can see on like a sideway you see like it's it's pretty thin but kind of like a, an angle cut to make the sharp and here is that the smallest tool so let's open all of them and see if this would be actually comfortable or not we have to test it out by working on but what else this uh, and looks like we are going out of the focus for some reason um, if you do lots of repairs maybe in your house uh, this is wonderful tools to create some plaster work uh, maybe you are artist uh, who like to do lots of stuff art creating pictures like a um, with acrylic with oil paint and sometimes we need those big tools to create some extra texture so I thought this is something interesting to see because this is not just a for diamond painting um, to use it as a straightener but also this is just a great household items and they are impressive sizes I thought they would be much smaller to be honest I didn't expect this to be so huge and i think this is great great especially when i'm trying to do some repairs in my house i'm painted my daughter's room and 
will be next mine and I have some repairs to do on the walls and this one is huge so what it says in here too it uh, actually says two inches in here so I guess this is two is it really this is two inches kind of looks more for two inches anyway it says two inches on this one then we have four inches this one six inches look at this one big one eight inches and ten inches and you know what let me grab a measure and tape because I have not far away I should grab this before but I didn't think there would be like a sizing on this thing so I have one in centimeters and then here is the inches it this one small one says two inches it kind of looks small unless it's just a oh no you know what it's a it is exactly two inches so it is right measurements okay that that's cool and all of them same shape yes very thin and I think it will go okay between diamonds and look at this with this one 10 inches you can get your diamond it's almost like you know if you put your 30 by 40 centimeters diamond painting in a uh, horizontal position you almost can reach probably from side to side a whole line that would be interesting to try if this would be work or not mm, I don't know that would be fun unless this little slant in here like will not go will not gonna go too far away or not but it's pretty thin go up so this is something that I wanted to see for myself if this would be interesting or not so next time we will diamond paint I will be test this out on a diamond painting if this is actually will work on diamond painting or not but at the same time if you do lots of work of house housework uh, painting plastering like it's just a great set of tools to have at home yeah that, that's great that's great I like that. Um, then I will show you right now this uh, two pan that I already uh, you might will remember that some of them I already did review before uh, cannot where is the opening in here have to find the opening my goodness just a minute where where is this fold why I can't find it <laughs> oh be patient with me I think it's just the sticker in here that cover oh I need to where is my okay don't have a scissors okay I have my tweezers in here we are going to create exit for this pen all right so what's good about this pen this is diamond painting tool at the same time it's a touch touch pen for your iPad or cell phone because this one is this touch it's a soft as you can see it's very soft and it's perfect to work with on your cell phone or your iPad without using a fingerprint mask so that that's great and I just love those gems on the inside you know everything that sparkles it's calling my name I can hear those sparkles in my dream this one is silver and gold and I can show you I brought with me my, um, yeah so the only thing hold on is it turn this way turn this where is the tip okay that's interesting because this one like it's barely barely sticking out and this one actually disappear on the inside it just literally fall inside I just I just saw that so they need to be glue so I think I will need to like unscrew and glue so it doesn't go away because I have another two 
and I can show you how far they supposed to stick out you see that so they stay in nice so I will have to fix this one and this one I have to unscrew and pull out the tips and literally put them on a glue in here so they doesn't go away but here is a that I want to show you how gorgeous this collection if you can collect them all together and why I order yellow today because of this um, some of you will know what I mean okay so here it is a uh, gorgeous collection now I have and I absolutely love them and I use this one very often if I want to do um, like I do have a pen for my iPad if I use an iPad for my cross stitch saga but very often I'm grabbing one of this pen and also mark it up my stitching if I work on it so I highly recommend first of all they are very very comfortable um, very comfortable to work with because it's just a look like a regular pen uh, if you feel like it's maybe slippery or something maybe grippy I'm not sure grippy probably not gonna fit in here but if you don't have a problem to hold in a regular pen you will be not having a problems to hold this drill pen first of all it's gorgeous I love those gems on the inside and I just need to fix I can believe these tips are just kind of moving so that's the only thing other than that I love them I love them and they are very comfortable to place diamonds with okay next one that I want to show you I order um, needle minders or magnets and this one supposed to be gorgeous um, I I just hope they are good they always come in on this kind of packaging and uh, many of you keep asking me where I order my needle minders so I already explained one of my videos um, not sure the video already went live no I think it's for the Sunday that I was talking about cross stitch you have to look every store that I review cross stitch in its mean they do have a tools and accessories for the um, cross stitch so they would have needle minders up there as well so you, all you have to look is just a um, needle like tools and accessories where is a cross stitch and usually they have in different shapes and different designs and like very careful because one time remember I received the broken magnet so this one magnet is good and now are you ready to look because it is gorgeous look at this this is such a beautiful magnet look at those birds the blossom cherry and at the same time my friends um, I don't know if you know this or not because there is a cover in here that we have to and that's why actually I brought my tweezers because it's supposed to be the cover in here let me just try to pick which is really tricky very tricky to find the edge can we do it right now on a camera or not <laughs> or maybe this one I see some glue in here I hope it's a cover I hope uh, cover not missing and I'm just keep scratching it okay you know what um, maybe this one okay let's 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 see the other one maybe it's already open couldn't be because usually there's a always cover on it and I feel like I almost got it oh 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 oh, oh, oh. I got it I knew it there's a cover and this uh, magic just will be like appear you look how it's look with it and I was stitching a long time without figuring out that is actually cover on it now it's a beautiful and shiny such a beautiful magnets love it so on this side we have this alone magnets which is one to put under the cross stitch and the other one would be like 
to hold it. So there, and you just put needle in here, and it's just a beautiful, especially when you stitch in something with the birds, and I think this one would be perfect, that somebody just asked me today question that when I will stitch, um, what what is the name, um, where's the hands and the birds, and this one would be perfect to actually, for that canvas to keep it because there is a birds up there so this is wonderful i love this kind of magnets they're not extremely strong because it's not very strong magnet but the needle still sticking into it you know uh even uh, scissors sometimes can stick which we will talk about scissors in a minute so let's keep this one in here and open the other one <coughs> excuse me this magnet particular I order because I have exactly same cross stitch so I thought this would be such a great way to stitch canvas and have same uh, design of magnet or needle minder the way how you like to say it okay let's see okay magnets is good not broken thank goodness all right, so the box is helping to protect. Okay, let me show you this one. Uh, the spinny. Do you remember not long ago I did review of this magnet? Not magnet, sorry. Of canvas that looked like this magnet. And I have to really kind of dig. Oh, this one got a little bit easier. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, look how beautiful. Mm, I don't know where is, how is it supposed to be like this. No, not like this. Maybe like this. Or... Um, there's some writing in here. On a, you can see on the corner. You see in here? So it's probably just like that unless I'm looking upside down kind of hard to see from you right now uh, but they are both gorgeous no matter how and I really like this kind of style of magnets they are big and I think scissors stitch stick to them as well and talking about scissors my friends I have two pair in here that this is brand new brand new scissors that was added to the store not long ago and they are absolutely gorgeous first of all look at this packaging how beautiful the packaging is it's like a vintage victorian roses okay let's let's open this out talking too much okay uh, when I use some kind of like a plastic um, uh, box, I actually put uh, inside this paper too because it's so pretty and if you store it's kind of nice or you can just put on a regular um, box. So what I want to see out from the scissors and what I expect to be very sharp, it looks like very... A thin nose looks like nice sharp edges and <coughs> sorry oh my goodness that was clumsy of me thank goodness now we know that uh, it did not break so it's strong enough um, see the have it go tight the nose like the tip there's no air go between the blades so definitely it's a go nice and tight and it's going to cut your thread very very nicely and first of all the design are so pretty look at this design gold from both sides comfortable to hold mm -hmm. that's wonderful that's wonderful so this one in silver and they have in many different colors so I just uh, pick two to to compare kind of 
designs and what to expect to see let's open the other one i really love and this time i order kind of different colors usually i always go you know those like rustic or the dark brown how you call it oh my goodness my head doesn't work right now but this one it's like a gray, dark gray, but such a beautiful, look at this color. Okay, now it's focusing. It's not black, it's like a very dark gray. And in the mix with this gold print, it looks so fancy. And the blades are very, very sharp, so be careful. You maybe even can use like, you know, from tweezers something to cover if you don't have a, a scissors uh, holder or something. But they are such a pretty scissors and you can find them in many different colors. There's a more colors than just two. And what I want to see, usually scissors have a magnetic tip so even needles stick to them. Let's see if they will stick to this magnet. And they are. They are. As you can see, it's wiggle. It's not very strong. If I would do this way, you probably see it's fallen. But when it's laying flat on your project, you definitely can kind of hold it to it. But if you put underneath a stronger magnet, they will be stronger if you're stitching like a vertical um, and scissors will be sliding away from here. But I hold them a little bit. So for the needle, definitely will hold good. But it is nice because the tips is always, always magnetic. And I love the shape of it. It's cute. So now I have a, two new scissors in my collection and I really love <laughs> to collect scissors. I don't know what's about them. They're just gorgeous. All right, if you are ready to continue, here it is. We have three diamond painting canvases to review. Now, who don't know yet? that I absolutely love owls and this one is gorgeous because uh, it face looks mean but so festive and this is definitely kind of Christmas owl because of the berries or no it doesn't have to be Christmas it's just the winter the owl went to eat some berries or what or you think it's a Christmas still Christmas I don't know but definitely gorgeous. I love my owls. They are represent me because I'm staying all night very often. It's uh, the most peaceful time to work and create when everybody sleeps in the house. So owl is my companion. Oh yes. Especially after a cup of coffee. Who needs to sleep? There you go. She is amazing. Well, this is probably like a he, not she. I don't know. To me, it feels like it's a male, maybe. Owl looks very important. Look at this, the face of this owl. This uh, beautiful, I don't know, how, how you call this, uh, the, and the bird. This kind of like, it looks like a brow up. And here's the berry. So yeah, what do you think? It's a Christmas owl? Looks like a Christmas owl, I don't know. Looks like a poinsettia or what you call those leaves in here. So this one is pretty, very pretty this. I love this owl. And have only 19 colors, not too many. Toolkit. And size 30 by 40 centimeters. This is like a average size that actually, right now, since my tool is still in here, Here's what I was talking about. If you can put this canvas this way, oh look at that, 100%. It's take a whole row from side to side exactly to fix it, wiggle a little bit maybe, or just like a go forward and back. And look at that, cover the whole canvas to straighten up. I definitely have to try this. That's a very, very interesting, but for now, Let's see what we have in here. If we still like to see diamonds or not, because they all already kind of same quality. They, they go better and better usually. The progress in diamond painting industry always progress in a better way. 
and I just want to see this beautiful turquoise and I want to see what kind of look at this the beautiful white ones I want to see those red that go on a bear that's what kind of interesting this is dark 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 and there are five it looks like maybe six 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 or yeah looks like it's a triple six color and there's a more bright up there and the rest are just the dark colors greenery so this is the pop of colors there's a pretty some yellow and current greens it has some bright colors as well all i want to see if we have in here last color so number 19 and we have 19 colors so nothing is missing everything in here perfect and I really love design of this owl. He look very, very festive, very festive. Love the gringy, deep green colors with the, um, like, like a, a, um, how do you say, point of the brightness. And those berry going to be look beautiful on the dark owl. See his feathers. It should should be beautiful when it's done and of course all owls have to be done because I love them so I would love to finish them as soon as possible um, now this is the design that will be with square diamonds 100% because it's a soft canvas I can see that already so this is definitely square diamonds they do not produce these canvases in a in uh, round diamonds for some reason only square don't know why like a double bag in here okay very colorful design i have few of this design got a little distracted sorry about that okay so here is the canvas very wrinkly if you can see it because it got beaten up while travel around but these canvases are good you can actually even iron them they are not bad plus the glue always good in here but definitely it's a lots of work look at that a lot lots of wrinkles on the side you can see but here is the design isn't that gorgeous with this kind of canvases we always have diamonds that already pre-packed into the ziplock bags and they always have this better version of the tools because there's a more tools than just the one pen usually have some multi-placers and here we have um, the tweezers okay this tweezers are actually the best one so far that i see this one at least kind of goes straight in here and pinched together not bad you see that so it's kind of you can work a little bit with this one white tray we have in here 10 placer i believe this one is a 10 placer or maybe 11 i think it's 10 big blocks of wax also my favorite four placer and one placer plus blue creepy so this toolkit are always nice in this kind of canvases but you only can find them in a square diamond painting for some reason always in this kind of designs and uh, feels like it's a company different company that print them because they are unique and usually have always more colors so for this rainbow design this is 40 by 40 centimeters size of the canvas very soft as you can see like a paper soft so to frame it you definitely have to have like a good support on the back but we have a 40 colors in here and that's what i like about this design they have lots of colors and i just love this i look at this tree for a while now and it's not very old design like they just uh, got into the store not long ago but there is a kind of like a similarity of different designs with the tree. They have like a shape of the heart, different colors. 
so there's many of them and I love colors so for me this like it said it's gorgeous for me I don't know if you like this kind of designs or not but I just wanted to show you what you can have uh, definitely I love the skin this is for the sake of being so many colors that way you always know that the design will look much better than you know 19 or 20 colors if you would order same design let's say in round diamonds somewhere it wouldn't be as beautiful uh, on the end because it would be more details with more colors you see more details of the canvas and what else I want to see I think the size of them also um, supposed to be 40 by 40 but I think it's a printed area unless they change let me double check where is our centimeter so let's see if this is 40 and it's actually 39 not even 39 it's like two millimeters short for being 39 centimeters so kind of one let's say one centimeter cut from from each side but still better than um, the other one that for example for example like this one it says 30 right so if we try to say 30 in here that would be look at this 30 all the way in here so look how much this one's like almost 25 close to kind of 24 and a half so look how much this canvas is uh, not true to the size um, and this one is more more close to the true side as the one centimeter is like not bad not bad I would say and 40 colors of course it looks amazing to me look at that it's a lots of pink and green so that's just the way I like <laughs> I like the way the shading you can see like a sunshine go through this like a um, sun hitting through the clouds and you can see how it's lighting up the side of the tree looks beautiful and let's see the I just want to count just for in case and hopefully no open bags in here you know how that's the only danger of diamonds pre-pack into the ziplock bag because the bags could be not zipped tight enough and it could open so let's see if nothing fell out in here that would be amazing I just uh, always have to kind of you know just double check every diamond like every bag just try to close which I will do later so one two three four look at this pretty pink five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen look at those pretty colors fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty two i see one diamonds in here traveling twenty three twenty four twenty five 26 oh so pretty 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have a four 40 colors in here I just see and I'm sorry my puppy just walking by making the noises one diamond in here is a round shape and one is looks like from here green one square so we're just going to put in here okay so all is good the colors are very cheerful in here oh look at the center isn't that amazing that's going to be so colorful and beautiful all right so we are good with this one and symbol wise it's always this canvas is good they are they are good all right so now we have one more canvas to review and this one is absolutely stunning this is the big one we have what's the size for this one 50 by 60 i think let's see 
This one can, as you can see right away, there is very, like, more sturdier. Oh, can you see already what I have here? Also diamonds already pre-packed and this one oh, also have a, oh no, that's a diff, not the same tool. Okay, so in here we have, is it two trays? What is this? I don't understand what's going on in here. Hold on. Nothing else in here? No. Let's see tools first. We have some different tool in here. So we have this, um, hmm. Is it 10 placer set? No, it looks like maybe it could be 10 placer because it's big and one placer. And then we have a whole bunch of, it feels like two trays or is not? No, it's a one tray in here. And a whole bunch of bags with the wax in here. So we have maybe like, I don't know, maybe like 10 bags or something. We're not going to count, not the important. Okay, because count or not count it's not going to be enough for diamonds plus you don't really need them because you already have this is like a cheaper version of the bags on the inside in here and this extra shouldn't be even here because you do have already everything pre-packed into the ziplock bags so this is just a super awesome bonus you know to receive i like that and diamonds already in a ziplock bag and this is shape of the round diamonds so here we can see this way all the colors peekaboo of the turquoise it looks like it's going to be lots of black some bag in here on this side yeah nice and this lady, ooh, she's so mysterious. Looks like from some kind of carnival or masquerade when you have a mask and you're looking for your Prince Charming. Uh, we have a 24 colors in here. And we'll try to show you this way. Hopefully my squeaky sheet don't flip. Look how beautiful. Canvas amazing, very, very sticky. Okay, have to prove it here. See, very sticky. It's not a good thing to test it out like this, but it says in here 50, 60. So it's a 50 by 60 centimeters. And this canvas probably the one that like a more, um, okay, I will measure for you later when I put back this clear sheet. But look how beautiful her hair pieces, flowers, beautiful mask she she's telling you some secrets she say be quiet be quiet don't tell them here okay this canvas survive better a little bit wrinkly situation because it's a kind of harder quality of the canvas, better quality of the canvas, not as soft like paper. So it withstand wrinkles a little bit better, I would say, the travel. And now let's see. The hand look beautiful up there. Looks like a pretty dress uh, or it's like a flowers or I don't know kind of hard to see what that is. Just quickly. If some of you just discover diamond paint and you would think why I open and I close, it's just this way you kind of stretch canvas and get those air bubbles and wrinkles kind of away when you replace the canvas listen better and trying to straight themselves a little bit in a better way and here let's see what she has it's kind of like a glove in her hand or what or she's a well definitely on a website probably have a proper name for this lady maybe she's a flower girl 
or flower elf or I don't know something magical but I thought she is gorgeous I don't know whose art this could be but she's amazing and let's just for curiosity check size in here so this way is supposed to be 50 and I will measure printed side and this one same as the owl this hard canvases always have like this one only 45 centimeters so five centimeters go on uh, each side so not on each side for example um, two and a half and two and a half you know to to cut kind of from being 50 and this way not going to be 60 will be 55 so just like that so two and a half kind of go on each side to cut it out size a little bit but she is gorgeous i really love and canvas is a very nice size of the canvas so it would be gorgeous art on the wall love those flowers how they go from bottom and her dark dark um, hair that is beautiful that is beautiful my friends okay i hope you like this video review uh, give me your thoughts what you think about the tools and accessories and which diamond painting was your favorite today and keep your secrets like she does okay if it's a secret don't tell me or tell me i won't tell anybody <laughs> just for everybody on youtube channel okay my friends thank you so much for staying with me today and i will see you tomorrow with my new video